हेलो एवरी वन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन माई माइकोलॉजी क्लास आई एम डॉक्टर अर्पिता एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फंजाई बाई जी सी एंसवर्थ नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन जी सी क्लासिफाइड फंजाई अप टू द लेवल ऑफ किंगडम ओके he treated fungi in a separate kingdom or a sub kingdom of plant kingdom right so here is how he had classified fungi the outline of classification is what we are going to discuss now okay now see kingdom fungi is broadly divided into two divisions one is myxomycota and the other is u mycota right now myxomycota has got only one class to it right so we'll write here single class okay single class which one myxomycota myxomycetes single class remember myxomycetes right then we'll study eumycota right now eumycota is broadly divided into two categories first category where motile cells are present hmm and that is mastigomycotina if we use another color it will be easy mastigomycotina here you see the motile motile cells are present and you see perfect spores but here in these two motile cells are absent so keep note here in both these motile cells absent this is applicable to both correct in both these you see motile cells are absent now this can be again divided into two categories where motile cells are absent one is the perfect stage the other is imperfect staged fungi that means in one you see the presence of perfect stage in the other you see absence of perfect stage all right now the group of fungi where perfect stage is present that can further be divided into three classes these are the classes that can further be divided into three classes which are the three classes zygomycotina ascomycotina and basidiomycotina right the other one where perfect stage is absent that is divided into one class that means it's not divided it is it is only known to have one class that is deuteromycotina right now coming back to the group where motile cells are present that group is divided into see how many classes 1 2 3 4 4 classes what are they chytridiomycetes hypochytridiomycetes oomycetes and plasmodioporomycetes please make a note of the spellings be very careful while you are drawing this flow chart in your exam the best way to learn the spelling is practice several number of times now we'll talk about the classes of mastigomycotina first we start with chytridiomycetes chytridiomycetes has got four orders hmm it has got four orders hmm the names just for your knowledge i'm telling you hmm harpochytrialis chytridialis blastocladialis and monoblepharidellis these are the four 
orders of chytridiomycetes here you will mainly see uniflagellate zoospore where the flagella is posteriorly located and usually the flagellum is whiplash flagellum hmm when it's singular we we say flagellum so single posteriorly placed flagellum is present in this class that is chytridiomycetes next we go to this one hypochytridiomycetes here what do we see here we see only one order what is that hypochytrialis hypochytrialis okay here this is also uniflagellate flagellum is tin cell type here you had seen whiplash flagella here it is tin cell type and it is anteriorly located right next we come to oomycetes oomycetes has also got four orders right it has also got four orders and here the members are biflagellate zoospores okay the members will have biflagellate zoospore in these two what did you see uniflagellate zoospores were present here posteriorly located here anteriorly located and here biflagellate zoospores are present hmm flagella are whiplash type okay that is the posterior flagellum is whiplash type and anterior flagellum is tin cell type here you had seen it is whiplash type here it is tin cell type here both are present posterior ones are whiplash type and anterior ones are tin cell type clear the name of the four orders here is saprolegianal saprolegnialis leptometallis Lageridialis and Pernosporalis. Pernosporalis. Okay, just remember these names. Fine. Finally, we go to the last one. Plasmodioforomycetes. Here you have only one order right the name of the order is plasmodioforalis right then we move on to subdivision zygomycotina zygomycotina is divided into uh, two broad classes zygomycetes and trichomycetes okay zygomycetes has got uh, three orders and trichomycetes has got four orders okay see the members of zygomycetes are mostly saprophytic and sometimes weak parasites but generally the members of trichomycetes are commensals with the, the guts of arthropods fine they found in the guts of arthropods all right the four order uh, the three orders of zygomycetes are mucoralis entomothoralis and zoopagalis these are the three orders and here the four orders of trichomycetes are harpillalis acellarialis acrinalis and amebidalis all right these are the four orders of trichomycetes next we move on to ascomycotina here you see how many classes you have 1 2 3 4 5 you have six classes right now among these this one the first class that is hemiascomycetes it has got three orders 
नेक्स्ट लोक्यूलो एस्कोमाइसिटिस हेज गॉट फाइव ऑर्डर्स प्लेक्टोमाइसिटिस हेज गॉट अगेन थ्री ऑर्डर्स लेबोलबिनोमाइसिटिस हेज गॉट लेबोलबिनियोमाइसेटिस हेज गॉट वन ऑर्डर पायरेनोमाइसेटिस हेज गॉट फाइव ऑर्डर्स राइट एंड डिस्कोमाइसेटिस हेज गॉट थ्री ऑर्डर्स और राइट नाउ कमिंग टू बेसिडियोमाइकोटिना एंड इट्स क्लासेस देर आर थ्री क्लासेस टीलियोमाइसेटिस Hymenomycetes and gastromycetes, right? Now, uh, hymenomycetes has got two types of uh, basidium: phragmobasidium and holobasidium. Hmm. See, in phragmobasidiomycetes, there are three orders, and in holobasidiomycetes, there are six orders, and in among these six orders one of them is very famous which is the agaricalis right other than this the teleomycetes has got two orders hmm uridinalis and ustilaginalis fine finally we come to gastromycetes which is got nine orders then finally we come to the subdivision deuteromycotina which has got three classes blastomycetes then you have uh, hyphomycetes and coelomycetes okay so this is a brief account of fungal classification according to gc ainsworth